If men could get pregnant, it would be like getting your wisdom teeth out. If men had to get pregnant, nobody would be trying to, to change things around. We would definitely not be having this conversation right now. It would have been legal and accessible since probably the beginning of time. I was 24 years old and uh, I got pregnant. I was with my boyfriend of three months at the time and I ended up pregnant. I was 23, simply not ready in any sense of the word to become a mother. It was very clear to me from the beginning that that was not a, a relationship that was going to be supportive of me having a, a child. It was not difficult for me to make the decision to have an abortion. I still had a lot of plans to continue to travel, to go to graduate school, to pursue a career that would allow me to make a difference in the lives of others. And I knew that becoming a mother at that point in my life just would not have allowed me to do that. There was never a question in my mind that I would have an abortion. I had heard of Planned Parenthood. Everyone was extremely nice. I was only two weeks pregnant and I felt supported. Men wouldn't stand to be treated the way women accept that they should be treated. And that is so embarrassing as a woman to say. I think it's important to talk about abortion because there is still a stigma. I think they're scared of women's sexuality. That is truly the only thing that I can understand. If a woman has control over when she is going to get pregnant and give birth, she in turn becomes more independent and there's more equality as a result. I was raised Catholic, so naturally I did feel some sense of shame around kind of what was happening to me and about the decision that I knew I needed to make to basically save my own life. I made a decision for me and because you are scared of that and you don't like that, you want to take away my decision-making ability. You want to make me like not a person, not a woman basically in your mind. How did you feel after? Afterwards, I felt grateful and relieved. Um, and 10 years later, after the fact, I still feel that same sense of gratitude. Now, looking back on those feelings, I feel so much compassion for that, for that person, for that 24-year-old who had like a tragically narrow view of, of like, this has never happened to anybody else. And it's only now, really, that I realize how common it is. I didn't feel that much. It wasn't like this huge emotional burden to me. And it doesn't have to be. I don't have to justify it or explain it to anybody, even though I'm happy to talk about it. Uh, I was just a regular 28-year-old who didn't want a baby, and I did, did something that was legal and medically safe, and that's all there is to it. The more that women talk about abortion in a way that they show they're not ashamed, they're, they're not sorry, and that it's, it's really a non-issue, the more this issue will stop having such a heaviness and such a negative connotation. I think it's important to talk about abortion because you're taking away the tools of the people who are trying to shut you down. Like, if, if you don't talk about it, you're allowing people to decide how you feel about it. But for me, it feels very empowering. I think it's, that's the most important thing I can do is to just like stand up.